What's up, America? This is old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel and the Fake News Network, coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. Well, I was uh, doing a little reading online. Um, I was, uh, you know, I'm aggravated with Washington, D.C. and the goings on up there, and uh, I'm trying to figure out a way to make it better and help out. And uh, I saw uh, one of my pet peeves is lobbyists. I think they do more harm than good. So I, I was thinking, What's the difference between a lobbyist and an outright bribe? And uh, looked it up online, and sure enough, there is a difference. Lobbying is legal, and bribing is not. And uh, so, uh, well, uh, what's a bribe? Well, a bribe is when you uh, sit down with a congressman and you hand him a wad full of money under the table to get something done. That's against the law. Uh, but uh, lobbying, supposedly, uh, legal so they, you, the congressmen don't know how to do their job up there is what it said and they need help with information on stuff like that so the lobbyists go there and get them the information and uh, tell them how to get their stuff done you know like a gun lobbyist or lobbyist for the drug industry or something other like that I mean you know so the congressmen apparently are not smart enough and so uh, well uh, can a, a lobbyist give a congressman a gift? Well, yeah, I can give him a gift of a hundred dollars. That's legal. Anything over that would be a bribe. And uh, so uh, I think, well, still seems to me like they're doing a lot of other things up there. That, and uh, So here's what I found out. Uh, a lobbyist can uh, help a congressman get reelected. He can uh, throw a big re-election party and have a bunch of donors invited there and flown in and lavished gifts and everything for the donors to come in there and uh, donate money to the re-election campaign. They could spend as much money as they want on that and that's not considered bribery. So, you know, what the lobbyist does is, is uh, you know, if you help me on my well, you don't say anything. You just uh, said, uh, sure, I'll, I'll help you with your re-election campaign, say he's with the drug industry. And then the next time the drug industry needs something, he goes to him and said, you know, we kind of need help on this like that. So uh, if the congressman wants to get re-elected, he might be swayed to vote that way. Now, that's not illegal. That's totally legal according to the laws in Washington, D.C., and uh, another thing that's interesting that I found out, a fellow wrote a book called Drain the Swamp. And that's, you know, you heard President Trump talk about it, but that's a book he wrote. He's actually a, a, con a senator, I think, or a congressman up in Washington. And uh, he was uh, telling on a, new, on a video the other day, I was watching that uh, in order to be on a subcommittee, he has to pay like uh, $400,000 to... Uh, a private industry that uh, somehow or another sets up these committees and uh, in order for him to do that he has to find out where to get money somehow or another to do it well lobbyists can give him money to do that and uh, so you know that's just another little trick they've got up there to influence and stuff Congress uh, in Washington uh, the Senate all of it up there is broke it, it's it's bad. They they uh, there is no way to fix it. You can't succeed from the union, the United States, uh, and become a state of your own. That's illegal. Um, I don't want any violence or anything like that. But you know the Congress and the Senate needs to do something different. Now this fellow, what I think I can't remember his name. Anyways, he's trying to do something different, but he's trying to do it from within the walls. I mean, it's uh, obvious to him that you can't really be free and change Congress up there the way it is. So um, that's my take on uh, lobbyists and uh, bribery. What's the difference? Jim Bob's out.